Hi there, and welcome to my tutorial on how to build an invoice tracker in Google Sheets. With this tracker, you can store all of your invoice information in one place, easily view the status of each individual invoice, which updates automatically, and see a quick summary of your invoice numbers right here on the top. Okie dokie, if this looks like a template that you want to build, then stick with me. And if you'd rather buy it instead, you can use the link that I left for you in the description. That being said, let's get to it. Starting with a blank Google Sheets spreadsheet, let's begin by setting up the worksheet structure. Click here to select all cells, change the horizontal alignment to left, and change the vertical alignment to middle. Click here in this box, which is called the name box, type in 1 colon 1000 and press enter. Right click on the row headers here, select resize rows, change the size to 35, and click OK. Next, select column A, right click, resize column, set the size to 50, and click OK. Select columns B through I. Right click, resize columns, set the size to 150, click OK. Next, select row 1. Right click, resize row, set the size to 40, click OK. Select row 4. Right click, resize row, set the size to 50, and click OK. Awesome. Now go ahead and type in these values into these specific cells. Once you have, go ahead and turn off the grid lines by going to View, Show, Uncheck Grid Lines. Okie dokie. Now we're going to add in all of the formatting to make this spreadsheet look nice. Click here to select all cells. Click the fill color button here and select light gray three. Then select row one, bold the font, increase the font size to 14. Click the font color button here, select white, click the fill color button, click the plus icon to create a custom color. Then enter the hex code 215A6C and click OK. Next, select the range B3 through E4. Bold the font, click the fill color button, select Reset, click the borders button, change the color to dark gray 1, and click this to apply all borders then change the horizontal alignment to center. Now select the range B3 through E3, fill color, choose light gray 1, then select B4 through E4, and increase the font size to 16. From here, select B3 through C4, then click this button, which is called the Paint Format button, to copy the formatting. And select cell H3 to apply the formatting. You can then select H4 through I4, and reduce the font size to 14. Awesome. Now for the table below. Start by selecting B6 through I6. Bold the font. Set the fill color to light gray 1 click the borders button and click here to apply only outside borders. Next, click in the name box, type in B7 through I990 and press enter. This will select that entire range for you and with the range selected, go to fill color, reset, go to borders, and apply all borders. Then select columns F through I and change the horizontal alignment to center. Awesome. 
Now let's format the dates and numbers to look a little different. Start by clicking in the name box again. Type in D7 through E990 and press enter. Click the More Formats button here and select Custom Date and Time. Clear the contents in the box here. Then use the down arrow to create a custom date format that works for you. Personally, I like to add the month as an abbreviation, then a space, then the day with the leading zero, comma, space, and finally the year with all four digits. And once you're done, click Apply. Next, select columns F through H. Click the More Formats button here. Select Custom Number Format. Clear the contents and type in the following. Pound sign, comma, pound, pound, zero, dot, zero, zero, semicolon, open parentheses, pound sign, comma, pound, pound, zero dot zero zero close parentheses semicolon dash semicolon at symbol then click apply select cell i4 change the font color to dark green too select cell h4 and change the font color to dark red one finally click in the name box one more time type in H7 through H990, press enter, bold the font, and change the font color to the custom dark blue that we created earlier. All right, that does it for the basic formatting. Now we're going to add in the formulas that will calculate the balance, status, and summary numbers on top. Start by selecting cell H7 and enter the following formula equals F7 minus G7 and press enter. This formula simply subtracts the paid amount from the invoice amount to give you the remaining balance for that invoice. Next, select cell I7 and enter this formula equals proper function ifs function F7 equals zero, next argument, quote, dash, quote, next argument, H7 less than equal to zero, next argument, dollar sign E, dollar sign three, next argument, today function, close parentheses, greater than E7, next argument, dollar sign B, dollar sign three, next argument, G7 greater than zero, next argument, dollar sign D, dollar sign three, next argument, one, next argument, dollar sign C, dollar sign three, close parentheses, close parentheses, and press enter. This formula does a few things. First, the ifs function runs a few tests to figure out which status to return. First, it checks to see if an invoice amount is at zero or hasn't been set yet. If so, we get a dash. If not, it checks to see if the balance is at or below zero. If so, we get a status of paid. If not, it checks to see if today is past the due date. If so, we get the status of overdue. If not, it checks to see if any amount at all has been paid. If so, we get the status partially paid. Otherwise, we just get the status of unpaid. And finally, the proper function on the outside of the formula transforms the status text into proper case with only the first letter of each word capitalized. But if you'd rather have your statuses in all caps instead, you can simply remove the proper function from your formula. Either way, once you have the two formulas working, you are ready to copy them down for the rest of the table. 
Now you could select the cells and then use the fill handle to drag the formulas down, but let me show you a faster way to do it. Click in the name box, type in H7 through I990 and press enter. Then press Control D and Google Sheets will copy the formulas all the way down to the end of the table. Okie dokie, now for the summary formulas. Select cell I4 and enter the following. Equals sum function G7 through G990, close parentheses and press enter. Then select cell H4 and enter this formula equals sum function h7 through h990 close parentheses and press enter these formulas simply sum up the appropriate column of values to give you the still to be paid and paid total values finally select cell b4 and enter the following equals count if function dollar sign i dollar sign 7 through dollar sign i dollar sign 990 next argument b3 close parentheses and press enter this formula uses the count if function to count the number of invoices with the status of overdue and once you have it working use the fill handle to copy the formula over to cell e4 fantastic all that's left now is the conditional formatting to color code the different status values. Start by clicking in the name box. Type in I7 through I990 and press enter. Then go to Format, Conditional Formatting. Under Format Cells If, select Is Equal To. Then for the formula, enter Equals dollar sign b dollar sign three then under formatting style click the fill color button click the plus enter the hex code ff e6 e6 click ok and change the font color to dark red 2 then bold the font and click done click add another rule and under format cells if select is equal to then for the formula enter equals dollar sign d dollar sign three and under formatting style click the fill color button click the plus enter the hex code f f f f e six click ok and click done click add another rule under format cells if select is equal to then for the formula enter equals dollar sign e dollar sign three and under formatting style click the fill color button click the plus enter the hex code e6 f f e e change the font color to dark green two bold the font click done and close the panel on the right for our finishing touch Let's lighten up the table just a little bit. Click in the name box and type in B7 through I990. Press enter. Click the borders button. Change the color to light gray one. And click this button to change the inside borders. Finally, select cell A6 and go to view, freeze, up to row six. And now you are officially done with the invoice tracker template for Google Sheets. Way to go on making it all the way through this build. You should be super proud of completing this project. And if you still have questions or you just wanna say hi, leave me a comment and like this video. Also, remember to subscribe for more content like this. Well, with that, I'll see you again soon in the next spreadsheet life video you're like a circle that floats around me keeping me safe and sound and when i fall